Hey guys, this is uh, Snowy and welcome to part 58 of Smiletopia in City Skylines. In part 557 we have been busy building a tuna fishery. And I have to say it uh, is doing pretty well. I have been expanding a little bit with, uh, with the buildings. Added a few more buildings, did some road management, all that nice stuff. Even added a nice uh, money-making park over here. So people are walking now, you can see, they are walking now from here through the park. Just over here, over the river, to the other side, just because they, you know, can go there. Now, the only thing that we have so far is like the fishing of the tuna. Now, what does this uh, yield so far? Let us check out the budget panel. Okay, so I have seen this uh, amount going up and down. It varies uh, roughly around the 10,000 simoleons, which is not bad. Uh, last time, in the previous episode, it was like 4,800 we ended with. And, well, now, like I said, it is going up and down a bit. But this is not with all the other stuff like the fish market and the fish factory because these things you know they are puking out of fish they have so many fish in storage that it can hardly be exported uh, in time or there are not enough buyers outside of the city i don't know so i've been thinking yeah where to put like for example fish market Let's, let's take the fish market for example, the fish market. So the fish market has to be close to consumers. Well, okay, consumers. So this thing is pretty big. Okay. So where we find the most residential people? Well, here are residentials. We find residentials here. So yeah, basically this would be, this would be an ideal spot. But also it has to be reachable. Um, because the fish is going to here, to here, well, to here, and then basically, basically the fish is only going towards the export area right now. Um, okay, so this has to change. Mm, we need an, yeah, turn off, like in that direction. Now, since we do have the residents over here, they also might be able to... Now, let me think. We have residents over here, residents over there, but I have commercial over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this commercial and replace that by residents all over here. So, this becomes one residential area. The, f the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want residence areas and commercials uh, directly close to each other because, you know, uh, because commercial areas are very noisy and people don't like that, you know, a lot of noise. Okay, let's, let's see. Can we tap that one? Uh, yeah, yeah, that will do. Okay, can we also get another one over here? Yep, but not touching that roundabout, we need to keep the space. And then this place would be an ideal situation for this space actually for the fish market. Because again, people can walk like, or use maybe even these, all these pedestrian roads that I created. That would be even more perfect to get them right over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, the first thing we need to do is to create like a sort of off ramp from this road towards that road. Now let me see how are we going to do that. Um, well, since this is a one way road anyway, I can just you know tap in from here to there. So let's do that uh, by taking the see let me see let me see this one and then straight from here uh, yes and then from here to there I want to attach it to here well that sort of works now let's do something about this uh, th this junction because Actually, I want these guys only to go there. 
yeah that's it um, also this road I'm going to change into a 2 by 3 so it will be an asymmetrical road uh, and that will be like this one yeah needs to be yeah like that okay so in essence we can say like okay these guys are going there and these guys just go there these guys just go there well this is pretty straightforward but everybody can move on and that's the most important aspect nobody has to stop okay now let me see about this uh, spot um, yeah so it's not it's not that bad actually that um, if you have like a one dedicated lane for turning off here and let's see everybody can pick their own lane it's not really an issue actually I mean they can go to the right they can go straight on it's like you know whatever they want uh, it's no problem and they can go that way okay that is pretty nice so we want to go all the way to here um, okay so what do we have here traffic lights we don't want them whoa um, we want this 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 and this this and this and I give this road a priority and I say to these guys here we go for each lane a direction yes now the fish yes the fish uh, market so we're going to remove this road because we need the space for it that's um, yeah and here uh, okay so this road is not exactly uh, in line with that one but well hey ho hey ho here we go and let's redo this again or is it just fine oh it's just fine okay the only thing that needs to be redone are the lanes like that this is awesome look at that okay if people are getting here they need space to park now we have like parking spots over here like there and there and there and uh, just one over yeah to there okay like that yeah that's working out fine yes um now the nicest thing because i have the anarchy mode on i can say like uh, just like with as with the solar panels um you can put these basically directly in here and say like okay you go down just like that in here as well so they can people can just go directly to uh, well wherever they want to go and from here from the parking lot and of course I can yeah of course this goes difficult five meters high into the air that way and then back again to ground zero nice let's connect this up as well to make sure that whoever is walking from this end over here to that side for no apparent reason that they can cross that uh, yeah that road as well now let's uh, disable these pedestrian crossings and I also want to have them disabled here as well and from here to there let me see <laughs> this is so funny you know that this, that this is even possible right so we can disable them here also nice okay here we have like a metro so they can walk all the way there we already see cars parking in here that is a good sign and I want to let me see connect this somehow I don't know um, 
because we have the connections here but we also have connections here they can so they can walk all the way to that area the only thing we need is like having a connection from here to down here yeah just like that I think yeah I think I like this I think I really like this okay now let's do something about that parking because uh, that is ridiculous don't park there don't want that no parking what are these guys doing okay they are slacking a little bit okay so we have now three fish markets um, and we have still some uh, yeah residential demands so I say like okay let's put some residentials around it so they can e eat a nice nice little fishy we all love fish right mmm fishy fishy yeah Okay, let's fill this up. Uh, this is also, yeah, residential. So this can be filled up. You know, houses can be even put here in between. Uh, I consider this as a main road, so I will put nothing on it. So, um, yeah, let's see how this uh, turns out. So let's put some, yep, peeps over there. Oh, I have like a little industrial demand. That means like I'm going to put some offices, offices in between here. I've been waiting for that for some time now, but um, yeah, it did not, it did not came. Uh, you know, the uh, industrial demand. It, uh, I had to wait, 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 and wait. Okay, so these are the fish markets. Now we are going to concentrate also on the fish factory. Mm. Now I want to build that over here because this is the direct supply route for that and I might have to break down this stuff. So let's have a look at the fish factory by itself. How big is that building? So it, this is the building. Also a big whopper but I can put two of those guys there but I'm thinking about maybe... I'm worried that they might be um, yeah, causing traffic issues because so many cars and trucks will be stopping there. Uh, so I'm going to remove these, uh, these guys. No, what we need is like a... Well, just a road like this. I'm not so fond of this, but... I think it's a better idea than just put it on the on the main road itself. So let's do this and say like the fish factory will be placed here and another one over here. Now I also know that fish factory are like zoned industry goods which can be stored in a storehouse. So let's not forget about that either. No, here. So what do what can we fit in here? Mm -hmm. This yes, it's it it fits, <laughs> and also this fits, this fits. I think that's yeah, that's pretty doable. Okay, now let's put in some stuff in here like commercial zone goods, and also here commercial zone goods and here also commercial zone goods as well okay let me check out this stuff uh, how is this doing um, first of all let's di yeah, disable the parking these guys do not have a lot of parking space so hmm what can we do about that I also don't like this yeah this area in between can we shift that over a little bit or is it not possible let me see like that how's that looking yeah sort of better let me see 
Yeah, they are getting their fish. It's okay. Now let's do something with the... Oh, look at the people, you know, walking here. How much is this park generating for me right now? Let me see. Park info. <laughs> oh, man. Parks are really... the uh, <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Who needs fish? You mean, you know, you can live off parks. Okay, let's say like... Um, Two for going on, and here it's like, um, yeah, a little bit difficult. <laughs> okay, if it's two for going on, I say like, let's use some lane mathematics uh, stuff, sort of, and say like, okay, let's change this one in a two laner, like that. And let's use the lane connectors to say like, no, wait a second. Um, hmm. Yeah, the thing is, if I lead these these ones to this road, to this lane, then they are not able to get to this um, storehouse so maybe i have to put this on the other side is that possible how much would that inflict this well that is really you know toe to toe but we can you know we can always shift this stuff a little bit with the move it mod like that yeah and now I can, I now, now I can say like, okay, when you are getting out of here, you will get like only that lane, that lane. You will take that lane, and you will take that lane. And here it's like you go to there and there, and you will go there, and you will go there. Well, that's not so bad. Yeah. So, uh, this is, yeah, this is good, I think. Commercial zone goods and these things get balanced. They are like 0% full. Huh. Okay. And this thing is like 0% full. Um,. Commercial zone goods, yes. Well, maybe it's directly transported to the commercial area. I don't know. Um, it is possible. But we will see over time how this will uh, turn out. Maybe, um, maybe I build a bigger one later. I don't know, because these are tiny ones. And I don't like the idea that this thing is sitting so close. You know what? I'm going to remove this one. Okay, I think that's better. Uh, also, I'm going to concrete this area over. It looks a little bit more nicer. And also here, a little bit of concrete, like that, and here in between as well. And also here in between, yeah. For some reason, I don't know, I like the concrete look of it. It's like a... Yeah. Okay, now let's do the same also over here. You know what, let's concrete this entire area. Who gives the... We love concrete. Concrete. You know, concrete is so concrete by itself. Now, let's check out these, um, these junctions about... This stuff, so this is okay, but they, they are following the lane connectors. Then about this, okay, you can drive on, that's also okay. Yes, and here I don't see any issues as well. And no, don't pick your lane, just go where I guide you to. Nice. Pretty nice. So, uh, oh, they don't have power. Is that the reason why they don't work? Ah, that might be the reason. Well, first of all, first of all, let me 
select this one and move it a little bit closer like that and now I will give it power just with this thing and then they also have like parking space so talking about parking space maybe for these guys um, I can put like where do we have, where do we have it? this one instead of you know the storage facility over I can put a parking lot here and also maybe on this side as well yeah they have the option yeah to just walk over here to their work uh, yeah no problem and besides they have their own parking lots here as well okay this is doing great so those guys are having power and but not are not full yet yeah the, uh, the only thing I'm thinking of is like okay these guys they have like freight trucks now what if they are driving this way have to drive that way so they have to drive all the way around and they cannot go into here because then they end up here again so it makes me like that makes me think like how do these guys even come back hmm good question um freight trucks um yeah that's a good question uh, actually they would have they would have to drive all the way around over this roundabout and then going here and then all the way around here <laughs> that's you know a lot but i don't think i can do much about that that's that's why i do not really like the place of these things uh, on this location but hmm is there an alternative um, not really because the production is over here and this is the main supplier route most commercials yeah are found here so I have some demand for it so I will put it uh, like here yep just like here but and then remove that upper layer because that is not used the thing is I need to get the products there that is the whole pro problem um, I mean it's possible from the factory themselves because that's why this road exists and but this thing is like mm, well maybe I can make a road that is going from here to there oh man that's like Ooh, it's enticing. Not impossible, but enticing. Uh, so what if um, I created a road that is the, the entrance is here. So if I create the road from here, get over this one, and then attach to this one further on, so it can get to uh, this commercial area eventually here going around like this and enter here hmm or make a direct connection here to this junction by the way I mean then not to this road but to the junction yes that would be also an idea um, so let's figure that out let's see what is possible let's take this road this one-way highway ramp and so that is only four u four units mm -hmm. and this is like how far can we go up five units is that enough well normally you know if i create these um overpasses uh, for pedestrians uh, then they can actually uh vehicle vehicles can drive underneath it so what I also can do is like shift this as far as possible to the right like that also this as well yeah and a little bit forward like that look that saves already some space and it does not yeah it does not give any issues and now I can save from here uh, Uh, yeah, we go up. 
<laughs> oh my life this is interesting this is a really interesting so where is that uh, oh there's also a metro there okay so let's put it like around here so we can make a curve roughly yes and then it will enter okay from here straight into there yes and let me see uh, this is just all like curvy wow <laughs> this should theoretically work I, i'm not going to meddle around with these lane arrows because um, i think like they need all the lanes they can get so i rather keep them in two lanes and i just say here like pick your lane so these guys are now able to bring their stuff to the commercial area they can get out they can drive here they can get to here here and do they how, how do they get back uh, a little well drive around and then yeah they need to drive around a lot probably probably whoa you know you know this whole outside road is connected to basically nothing i think we need like a connection from here to there yes we definitely need one um let's take the just the one yeah the one mm, no i take the two lane road for this uh, okay let's make it that like that and then make a curve like that well curve i mean yeah sliding it that like that okay now let's fix that footbridge here we go you can also make a this go down now and this go down now okay now restrict restrict some parkings over here and here we say like um yeah what do we say hello <laughs> goodbye bye <laughs> so we have two lanes and three lanes going into three lanes great you have to love this game okay so let's take um, lane mathematics uh, let's take the four laner and say like okay you for four lanes four lanes four lanes you can go in three lanes no issue and then turn this one into two lane and two lane also yep that will cause us no issue here and here and here well that's okay by now and now we are in a position to say like you can just go there you can go there you can go there and you can go there right no lane switching here and regarding this junction uh, let me see I don't see any issues here besides that this has to change so now they can also turn to the right uh, go straight on and whoa yeah so they can go now this way too now they can come back and go back to the storage facility i think that will really help yeah i like it yeah i really do like it look they are parking already over here nice now the most important question now is like what is it all getting us you know all this um, fish uh, let's go to the money and we are earning now a profit of 16,000 uh, that's not bad uh, boys and girls even the oil industry is doing fine yeah this is not bad at all so yeah this is uh, becoming a very nice uh, place and i don't know did i told you that i also created a metro system in here as well and uh, also i'm intending to um yeah to make a, a, a train track because we have like uh, trains going around the countryside 
it's a little bit difficult to see we have a station here we have a station here so and we have like let's say we have like two metro stations here what would be not more nicer than to put maybe here some train station in here to connect it all the way to well there but you know that is something for episode 59 so um this is doing uh, pretty, pretty well, actually. I am uh, very uh, content with this. Uh, so, let's make a nice uh, screenshot for the end of this video that I can put in the thumbnail, like with the fish uh, factories in front and the big city behind it. And yeah, if possible, you want to get everything in. <laughs> And look at these people, it's like, oh my gosh, I mean, that park delivers more money than the whole freaking fish industry. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you in uh, part 59. And if you like uh, this series, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next episode, and I will see you then. Okay, guys, bye-bye.